Hello comic book guys and gals and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. I am your host, Bill Miller. Today we're doing part two of the CGC graded auction unboxing of some comics that I got from maybe a month or a couple months ago. So I already did part one. If you haven't seen it, I would encourage you to do so. And now let's dig into part two. We've already opened up the box. So let's just start grabbing the comics. I think we have about seven to take a look at. All right. So what do we got here? We have Moon Knight number six from Marvel Comics, April of 1981. Doug Monk's story, Earl Norum cover, Bill Sienkiewicz and Klaus Janssen art. CGC 9.6, white pages. And I do believe that is a painted cover. And on the back, we have an advertisement for big rig monogram models. So very cool. Um, I do collect Moon Knight. That was targeted as one that I need for my collection. So it'll be staying in the PC and I'm definitely excited to have it. What do we got here? Uh-oh. Got a new one. Not a Moon Knight. So we've got Master of Kung Fu number 22. Marvel Comics, November of 1974. Doug Monk's story, Paul Galassi and Dan Adkins art. This is a CGC 9.4 with off-white to white pages. And on the back, we're going to LaSalle University. Take some correspondence courses. So excellent. I collect Master of Kung Fu. So that one will be staying with me. Okay. What do we have here? Another Master of Kung Fu. This one is Master of Kung Fu number 21, Marvel Comics, October of 1974. Doug Monk's story, Ron Wilson and Al Milgram art. This is a CGC 9.4 off-white to white pages. And on the back, if you didn't get your fill of prizes and cash, you have another opportunity to do so. Professional style hair dryer. That's fantastic. Model of a Honda engine kit. Pop and serve. Corn popper and a glass bow archery set. Cool. All right, Let's see what we have here. Oh boy, we got ourselves a coal. I love my sword and sorcery. This is Cole the Conqueror number six, Marvel Comics, January of 1973. Jerry Conway story, Marie and John Severin cover and art. This is a CGC 9.4 with white pages. Oh. 
Don't you hate it when you're just hanging out? Maybe on a picnic. And a giant man-eating worm attacks you. On the back, we've got the Chop Cycles. A Rip Rider set. That's pretty cool. Here they come. So I definitely collect coal. This one will be going in the personal collection. Excited about that. What do we got here? Ooh, invaders. All right, what do we got? Invaders number five, Marvel Comics, March of 1976. Roy Thomas story, Rich Buckler and Dick Ayer's art, Jack Kirby and Joe Sinnott cover. CGC 9.4, white pages. There's a lot going on in that cover. Invaders, again, one of the titles I collect. I'm excited to have this guy. Look who's smiling now. This guy. That's a fantastic picture. What is this for? Oh, this is for LaSalle. Yeah, see, so he took his correspondence courses. Now he's got a banging job, making all kinds of scratch. Invaders number five. All right, two more. What's this one? Ooh, cool. We've got Black Goliath number three. Marvel Comics, June of 1976. Chris Claremont story, George Tuska and Vince Coletta art. This is a CGC 9.4, off-white to white pages. You think you're such a big man, Goliath? Here's where Vulcan cuts you down to size. That's a great cover. Wonderful. And on the back, we're selling those fast selling American seeds yet again. People can't seem to get enough of them. I know the kids can't seem to get enough of those prizes. So I collect Black Goliath. I'm excited to have that one. And lastly, got another Black Goliath issue. Black Goliath number two, Marvel Comics, April of 1976. Chris Claremont story, George Tuska and Vince Coletta art, Rich Buckler and Frank Giacoya cover. This is a CGC 9.4 with off-white to white pages. And on the back, we again have an appearance of a LaSalle alum. He's like, hey, is that Black Goliath? You're damn right it is. It's number two. So excited to have that. And definitely excited to show them to you. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. If you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted as soon as I release new content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.